Hello everyone, welcome to my weekly vlog, Deborah Kearse Art Journey. Today I wanted to share with you a little pet peeve of mine. I have a few of them, <laughs> but this one is the one that's been bothering me the most lately because it's the spring, the time for the spring art shows and I've been shipping quite a bit lately. And one of the things that is not, in my opinion, right is that shipping companies like United, USPS, United um, States Postal Service, the UPS, United Parcel Service, and then FedEx, they don't fully disclose that when you are paying for insurance, you are not paying for them to insure the retail value of your artwork when you ship it. As an artist, shipping artwork in the United States, you only get back the cost of the supplies, meaning probably the frame, and if you have an expensive substrate, that as well. But you only get that back if you can show proof of purchase. and. Um, I've tested this myself. I've had things that have gone missing and also I've had friends who have experienced this and this is what they do. They don't tell you that when you insure something for a thousand dollars say you and you expect if it gets lost through no fault of your own you're going to get a thousand dollars back. That doesn't happen. What will happen is you'll get fifty dollars for the frame or hundred dollars whatever you paid for the frame if you can provide um, you know proof of, of that purchase. So that's just something you might want to think about when you decide what to do with your shipping. Now, if you do have something that you do need to ship, it's very important, like a commission that's thousands of dollars, for example, you can hire an independent shipping company and they will insure it for the full retail value for you. But for most of us who are just shipping to shows or to um, local venues, that's really more expensive than what we want to pay for, for that um, service. Thought you might like to know in case you don't. Hope that helps you. We'll see you next week for another little nugget.